Hello dear learners and viewers. My name is Enoch Durieli from Eteta TV. I'm here to present about a topic from English orientation course which is stating weather forecasting. Weather forecasting. When you say weather, remember in our previous lesson, we say that weather is the condition of atmosphere recorded over a short period of time. It may be wind, cloud, heavy rain, or storm. This is the condition of atmosphere recorded over a short period of time. And now we are going to see weather forecasting. Weather forecasting means the act of predicting which kind of weather is going to happen in short period of time. Example, in one week, two weeks, three months, that's after uh, seven hours, it will going to rain. Or after two weeks, it will going to rain. This is weather forecasting. Forecasting means somebody give the prediction of what kind of weather is going to appear or to happen after a certain duration or after a certain period of time. That is what we call weather forecasting. Weather forecasting. In Tanzania, TMA, or the organization which deal with forecasting of weather. So we have people who are dealing with forecasting of weather, and they use different type of instruments, different type of instruments are used by the weather forecasters. Example, we have rain gauge. Rain gauge. Rain gauge, this is an instrument which used to measure the amount of rainfall which rain in a certain time, in a certain place. The amount of rain which rain in millimeter in a certain place. We have barometer. We have barometer. Barometer measures the atmospheric pressure. The barometer measures the atmospheric pressure. And we have sunshine recorder. This sunshine recorder uh, connotes or record the intensity of light of the sun which shine on a specific day. Sunshine recorder record the intensity of a specific uh, sun, sun which uh, intensity of the light of the sun which shine over a certain day. And we have wind vane, wind vane which record the direction of the blowing of a wind in a specific day. We have thermometer, which are usually measure the amount of temperature present in the specific day. That today's temperature was 25, today's temperature was 37. The instrument which measure that temperature is thermometer. We have hydrometer. Hydrometer is the instrument used to measure humidity level. The humidity level 
of a certain place. Taking in combination the this measurement from one measurement to another, those forecasters, weather forecasters, they can collect different uh, atmospheric information, including the wind speed, including the pictures from satellites, which shows them uh, where are the clouds, how the atmospheric gases are moving, how temperature in different places expand and contracts, and show where there is high pressure and where is low pressure, so they can predict by this different uh, uh, motion of the wind. Maybe a wind is moving in four kilometers per hour. Maybe the wind which drives maybe a rain, a rain cloud. When it reaches a certain position, it means it will rain in that area. So they can use that mechanism to make weather forecasting. Conducting weather forecasting, including satellite images from the sky, measuring of temperatures, collecting different information from different instruments of weather, in combination of this, looking past history of a particular area about weather information, in combination of this, lead to forecasting of weather. Now, what can I say is, this different instrument enables us to know in January, in Morogoro region or in Rukwa region, there is a hot climatic condition or there is wind climatic condition because weather forecasters can use them to measure and predict. My dear learners, you heard about different tools and instruments which are used in measuring of weather. Can you state what are the tools used to measure temperature in weather station? That is thermometer. Thermometer used to measure temperature. What is the tools used to measure rain in a weather station? The instrument used to measure rain in a weather station is a rain gauge. The instrument used to measure weather in weather station is a rain gauge. What is the tool used to measure the pressure of the atmospheric pressure of a certain area? Barometer is a tool used to measure the atmospheric pressure of a given area. Now, take your diary and write the tools to measure weather in your locality. Now, let's take a little look on the advantages of weather forecasting. Weather forecasting enable people to run out of the burdens caused by weather. Example, those who use sea. Fishermen, they know today maybe sea tides will be very high. So they will take proper precautions. Or today is heavy rain, exceeding the moderate rain. Probably it can cause floods. So you can run out of the burden. People take measurement measures on how 
to overcome those floods when they appear. Maybe the prediction shows it will be windy day. So different people take different precautions on where to stay, not under the trees which can fall and cause human deteriorations. Another advantage is weather forecast enables people to manage their economic activities. Example, farmers, when weather forecasts show that the rain season of this year will start on early November, this make farmer to start making cultivations. Also, weather forecasts enable more study of the universe uh, or universe science and expansion of the uh, weather science because when they start those uh, different parameters from different instruments, they come with conclusion of some problems. Example, construction of dams which will manage water Building roads which are stable cannot fall by floods, knowing which region, which time of the year will cause floods and many other types of burdens can be handled. So, in general, saying weather forecast is of advantage in our daily, our daily life. Thanks very much. My name is Enoch. Again, welcome to watch Eteta TV more and more. Goodbye.